Welcome back, FG fam, to the Las Vegas Raiders franchise on Madden 24. And today we have a heck of a division matchup on tap for you as Josh Jacobs will go up against Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos defense here at home in Las Vegas, Nevada. Pat Sertan the second. This Broncos defense is, of course, loaded. And the Raiders have been a high-flying offense early in the season despite the fact that Preston Stone apparently just learned how to throw a touchdown pass. Let's see how this one will do. Make sure you leave your predictions in the comments before we get this thing finished. Here goes Chaz Nimrod on the return, and he will take it to around the 24-yard line. That's where the Raiders begin with the football. And already... Herring injured and going to the locker room. Not a good look if you're a Raider fan. Preston Stone on first and 10, drops back, finds Devontae Adams for a huge first down out of the gate here. And the Raiders have gotten news that a Bruce Sternum is what it is for Herring. He will miss the rest of this game. There's a sack for Randy Gregory. That is a huge loss on the Raider offense. And then the throw to Chaz Nimrod complete around the Raider 36, so third and 13, and Randy Gregory is causing issues early in the football game. The Broncos get the football now. There's Javante Williams, Isaiah Simmons and company bringing him down, but a first down, and then Williams again. Big run in a first down, so Javante Williams, heavy dose of running from the Broncos offense early. Another good run for five, and then the slant play to Cortland Sutton for a first down. First and ten, Wilson to the right side, finds Sutton again at the seven. That'll give Wilson an empty back set on second and goal, and there's Boogie Basham Jr. with the sack from behind. Third and goal for the Broncos. Wilson to the end zone, knocked away from Calvin Mentor, the UDFA who has been playing really well. The Broncos will take their chip shot field goal to take the lead on Thursday Night Football. Here's Josh Jacobs with the run to the 26 yard line. Just three yards for him. Last week was a huge week. He'd like to have another one against a big division rival, but there Jacoby Myers just too wide open to deny. Easy first down. There goes Josh Jacobs on a run, breaking a tackle, and he will find his way to the Bronco 40. First and 10, give it right back to Josh Jacobs' left side. Look at Devontae Adams on the block, and that will spring Jacobs into the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. As Josh Jacobs has opened it up and given the Raiders a 7-3 lead. So Russell Wilson here with 3.13 to go first quarter. Complete to a third and in inches for the Broncos. And Wilson under pressure brought down. Bilal Nichols with a sack. First and 10 for the Raiders after the punt. It's Preston Stone. Nice throw up the middle and complete to Tay. Devontae Adams for a first down. From the 45, it's Chaz Nimrod with a really quick Completion for a first down, and then Josh Jacobs on the stretch, picking up five, first down. He's got 69 nice yards already. Here's Preston Stone, and he is brought down. Randy Gregory for the third time tonight. Third and 12, Preston Stone, Gregory in his face, gets it away to Michael Mayer, but not a first downs worthy. And we are done with the end of the first quarter. Raiders on top, 7-3. to three. And we're back for Daniel Carlson's field goal attempt. Splits the uprights and gives the Raiders a 10-3 lead. Broncos with it now. Javante Williams to the left side. That is a beautiful spin move. Picks up a first down. Now Javante Williams, but Wilson on the keeper is body slammed by Isaiah Simmons. So this time he'll just give it to Javante Williams who will pick up the entire second and 15 and more. First and 10 Broncos, Wilson to the right side. That is complete to his tight end for eight yards. Second and two, gonna go left side. That one's complete as well. We got a flag on the play though. Personal foul, roughing the passer on Vegas. It's Cameron Jordan called for the rough. He does not agree. Apparently that was enough to call a roughing. Here's a throw to the right side. Cortland Sutton trying to get to the end zone. I don't know how he didn't. 
First and goal, though. It's fullback love for the Denver Broncos as Seathan Carter will score. Ten all in this one. Seven minutes to go in the first half. And Josh Jacobs, not much room to go anywhere. Third and eight. A little play fake to Jacobs. Wide open. Devontae Adams making the brilliant catch at the 48-yard line of Denver. Raiders knocking on the door again. Here's Josh Jacobs running left side. That's a good run. Five-yard pickup. And the little quick drop for Stone. The find of Devontae Adams again, who is making enough catches today for sure. Here's Preston Stone up the middle, and it is inaccurate, headed towards Michael Mayer. Third and 10. Stone, right side, got some pressure in his face, and it is Griffith with the sack. And so Daniel Carlson will put another one up and through the uprights, and the Raiders take a 13-10 lead. Here goes Javante Williams on first and 10. It'll be second and eight after a gain of just two. From the 27, here goes Javante Williams right side. Williams is halted from getting to the first down marker. It'll be third and one, and they go right back to Williams for the first down, three straight runs. First and 10, they do not run with him. It'll be Wilson throwing to him out of the backfield. He is the main source of offense in this football game for Denver. First and 10, Russell Wilson again. This time finds a receiver down the right side, pushed out of bounds. First and 10, here goes Devontae. Javante Williams, and he got nowhere to go. Second and eight, though. And again, nowhere to go. The Javante Williams train is stalling, and Mike McGlinchey is now out of the football game. So that could be huge for the Denver O-line. Left side throw. That's complete. It's a fumble. And that's Quintavious Mentor who picks it up. But upon a booth review, which, by the way, Thursday Night Football with this wonderful view of this booth review. Uh, but we went ahead and looked at it ourselves, and it does appear his elbow was down. So Denver going to get a chip shot field goal instead of a turnover to tie the ball game at 13. 106 to go first half. Preston Stone, Josh Jacobs out of the backfield on the wheel route. Huge play, and then Jacobs right away going to take it for another 10 on the ground. First down. Here's Preston Stone looking for Adams. It is complete across the middle. So Raiders trying to put up seven here. Here's Stone up the middle. That one's knocked away from Michael Mayer. Third and 10. Stone up the middle. That one could have been picked. Here's those pickable passes you guys have been talking about. Pissable too because they would piss Coach Pip off. That is a field goal that is good, though. 16-13 Raiders and Javante Williams with a big run. Going to lend way to Russell Wilson throwing. That is complete as well. So Denver trying the long field goal, nearly blocked. It is no good, though, just short. So we will go into the tunnel at 16-13 Raiders at the half. This is a good one. Strap in, get your popcorn. Second half we go. Here's the throw up the middle. That one is complete. Look at this. Big play to the tight end, Dulkic. And that's going to go all the way to the 18-yard line. And Javante Williams on the toss play, getting perfect blocks and waltzing into the end zone for six. Javante Williams gives Denver their first lead in a long time. Here's Preston Stone looking at the middle, and that is intercepted. Justin Simmons makes a wonderful play on the football. He was lurking out there. You can't just chuck him up. Javante Williams now with a nice move. And it's second and seven as Max Crosby makes the tackle on that one. Javante Williams going right side again. Crosby and Spillane trying to get him, not able to. He picks up a first down. First and 10, Denver. The throw from Wilson is into the hands of Cortland Sutton at the 10-yard line. So Denver is threatening. A little play fake for Wilson. Throwing towards the end zone and incomplete. Isaiah Simmons in coverage makes it second and 10. Here's Wilson to the end zone again, and that one's incomplete. The direction of Nate Hobbs covering. Third and 10. Wilson this time going to take off by himself and just dive forward. That one doesn't do much, but what it will do is give Denver a chip shot field goal to take a seven-point lead. 
their largest lead of the football game. Here goes Josh Jacobs up the middle, and that is a brilliant run to the 33-yard line. Jacobs having another one of those games. He's going to have to hard carry here as Preston Stone just cannot get the blocking on Randy Gregory all night, and it has been dangerous. Second and 19, there's Jacobs. Look at the turn to pick up a couple of extra yards but it is still third and 10. Preston Stone needs an open receiver, and he gets one in Devontae Adams. Even when he's not that open, he can still be pretty open. Here's a second and 10, a little play fake from Preston Stone. Stepping up, launching, and finding Jacoby Myers, who has been better in recent weeks. Here's a play fake for Stone. Throwing, and Jacoby Myers to the one-yard line. That is big. First and goal from the one. Going to try to throw for it. And there's Devontae Adams. Nobody there. Easy touchdown for 17. And that is going to tie this one up pending this extra point, which is up and good. So 23 all. Here's Russell Wilson. And Robert Spillane gets there for a sack. That is a wonderful play by the defense, and that's going to make it tough on Denver. Third and 11, Javante Williams out of the backfield. It'll pick up a couple, but not enough. Denver would have to punt. So here's Josh Jacobs. Big first down run. Randy Gregory coming out of the ball game. That is huge considering the night that he had. Second and 10. Stone under some pressure. This one doesn't have a lot under it, and it is nearly intercepted. Probably should have been. That one was such a lame duck, but due to Preston getting hit, here's a throw, though, and that one will get to Chaz Nimrod before any defender does. Chaz Nimrod celebrating the big play. Here's Josh Jacobs' right side. Look at this. Big run inside the 10-yard line, setting the Raiders up with first and goal to go from the eight. Preston Stone looking for the end zone, and he gets Chaz Nimrod into the end zone for the touchdown, and the Raiders take the lead and command at 30-23 to late third quarter. Javante Williams, though, look at all the room he's got to run. What a cut by Isaiah Simmons cutting Javante Williams' legs. I didn't even know that was allowed anymore in this NFL. There's Javante Williams with a big screenplay, though, to end the third quarter at 30-23. to We'll see who can prevail. So Denver with their first play after the quarter break. Javante Williams with a run to the 30-yard line. This game is really all about these running backs. Here's a throw right side. That one's complete to Cortland Sutton to the 25-yard line and a gain of four. The quarterbacks are just kind of skating through this game with the help of these running backs, and Williams really needed to come up with that catch. So now they're going to give it to Williams, and he is brought down immediately in the backfield by Butler. So Denver going field goal here, and look at the block from Webb on the corner. Wonderful defensive play, special teams play, whatever you want to consider it. But either way, Coach Pip happy about it. Here's Stone on a screen to Josh Jacobs, and he is going to pick up the first down. No, he isn't. Second and inches, not a favorable spot there, but Jacobs will go ahead and pick it up on the next play. 47 yard line for Josh Jacobs and nowhere to go on first and 10. So he picks up no gain. Second and 10 for Preston Stone in the offense. Throwing it to Jacobs. Look at the thread of the needle by Preston Stone. Now you are seeing why he's Coach Pip's man, but unfortunately, he's coming out of this ball game too. So Preston Stone injured. Aiden O'Connell taking the snap on first and 10. O'Connell rolling to his left, and his first pass going towards Adams in the end zone is intercepted by Justin Simmons. Simmons will take it back to the 23, and you see it's a bruised sternum. Preston Stone's not coming back today, so it is going to have to be the Raiders holding on for dear life. There's Javante Williams picking up big yards as McDuffie gets hurt on the play. And then second and nine, big hit on Russ. Third and 12. Here's Russ looking. He's just going to go to Javante Williams out of the backfield. Nowhere to go. Raiders take over, just trying to run this clock out with Josh Jacobs. Three-yard pickup, third and four. 
can't set up the screen properly. So it's back in the hands of Russell Wilson and the Broncos with a chance. Javante Williams stopped at the 31. This game turned from scoring all over the place to nobody knows how to score. There's Spillane with a beautiful tackle and Bilal Nichols now who has a sack tonight will be coming out of the game. Here's Javante Williams right side. That is a pickup of a first down. So at 30 to 23, down just seven with four minutes to go. Here goes Williams on first and 10, and he only picks up a yard. He has 185 yards to this point. Second and nine for Denver. There's Javante Williams. He is going to go to the 41, a three yard gain. 188 yards for Williams, and they're gonna have to throw, and that's nearly intercepted by Nate Hobbs. Knocks it away, the punt to the Raiders. Look at Josh Jacobs, he's got all the room to run right side. Big first down, 255 left. Just gotta play keep away here. Jacobs left side, trying to remain in bounds, but he is successfully pushed out. So Jacobs going right side now. And this time he makes the cutback to make sure he stays in bounds. That is huge. From the 41 yard line, first and 10, here goes Jacobs again on a counter play, staying in the middle of the football field and keeping that clock moving. He reached the two minute warning and then Jacobs with the first carry afterwards and Jacobs finds his way to the 21. Second and six, 149, Denver with just one timeout left and there's Jacobs with a big stiff arm, and that is going to be enough to get the job done. Coach Pip loving the way his offense controlled that fourth quarter with the run game and the way the defense shut Denver down in the run game. So a huge 30-23 to win to get Vegas to 3-1, send the Broncos to 2-2. Two two. Javante Williams and Josh Jacobs were obviously the catalysts in this game, but you cannot understate Randy Gregory, Justin Simmons on defense for the Broncos, or Spillane and Isaiah Simmons on defense for the Raiders. Quick check-in on Coach Wambui's Ball State Cardinals hosting the Miami, Ohio Red Hawks. And down 14 points, Jeffrey Wayne finds Sam Turk for a 12-yard touchdown score. Unfortunately, the Red Hawks scored on their ensuing possession, but Wilson got Ball State near midfield. And then it's Jeffrey Wayne just yeeting the ball downfield to Taylor Bakare for a 51-yard gain. Sadly, Wayne could not get the ball into the end zone, and Ball State got a field goal instead. Later third quarter, it was Demetrius March with a 19-yard catch to get into the red zone, followed by Jeffrey Wayne hitting Bakare inside the five-yard line before taking it himself on the read option for a six points. The two-point conversion try featured a receiver not paying attention at all, and a huge sack on the next drive forced a huge fourth down, which Wayne could not convert. It wasn't looking good for the Cardinals. That's when Coach Wambui's defense stepped up in the form of Xander Haggerty, who scooped up a fumble and took it all the way back to the house for a gigantic scoop and score. Unfortunately, the two-point conversion did not go as planned, and Ball State needed the ball back. A huge sack of Brandon Fedorowicz would give Ball State one more chance, and Jeffrey Wayne found an open Taylor Bacare into enemy territory. Huge third and 10, but even with a scramble, Wayne could not connect. And on an even bigger fourth and 10, it's the equivalent of an arm punt, as Miami, Ohio, with the interception, would just be able to run out the rest of the clock and win this football game behind wide receiver Derek Ritchie's 163-yard game, 27-25. There were positives to take away from the game, like the defense forcing three turnovers and taking the fumble to the house. Coach Wambui likes that. The three sacks from Makai Marsai and Jake Peterson combined, and the connection from Jeffrey Wayne to Taylor Bacare in this game. But we gotta watch out for Brandon Fedorowicz in this conference because he's just a freshman at Miami, Ohio. Back to Coach Pitt who went to the front office and said that even though Trayvon Morig isn't starting right now, he needs to stay a Raider. So a deal was put together for five years, 3.5 million per with 2 million per signing bonus, and Morig accepted the deal. The young superstar potential player stays a Raider. And the next ball game is against the Los Angeles Chargers, who you might remember beat us in week number one in the controversial clock operator game, though a lot are blaming Coach Pip on that one. 
Now, Coach Pip knows this team is talented, but he knows the Raiders really need to get the split on the season series to improve their chances at a postseason berth. This one should be fun. Leave your predictions, questions, and comments below, and in case nobody's told you today, FG fam, I thank you, and I love you.